Welcome to Mad Dog Books. I'm Mike. Today we're going to talk about Blowing the Bloody Doors Off by Michael Caine. I actually don't have a physical copy of this book. I listened to it on Audible for the first time about a year and a half ago. And since then I've gone through it and I've took better notes. And it's a very enjoyable book to listen to when you have an old British man reading it to you. For those of you who don't know, Michael Caine is an old English actor whose career started around the 60s. He's had a very prolific career. He's been around a very long time. He's been in a lot of movies. Most notably, in the 21st century, is probably the Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy, where he played Alfred. So, obviously, there's only my notes and interpretations on the book. Don't put words in my mouth. Go ahead, get the cop. Go ahead, get the book for yourself if you think otherwise. I'm as good as I am, which is the best I could ever be. Michael Caine. The reason I pulled this quote out of the book is because throughout the book, Michael Caine talks about doing the best you can at what you enjoy. Doing whatever makes you happy, doing whatever you enjoy, the absolute best of your ability, and just having fun. First key point, preparation. Be on time, know your lines. Know the ins and outs of your character. Have the details drilled into your head so that you can't mess them up. When you know the basics so well that they can happen automatically, you can get creative. Preparation is spontaneity's best friend. So, how else can you become more prepared? Repetition. Run through your lines. Run through whatever it is you want to do. Run through your procedure. What's your plan? What's your plan? What's your, what's your contingency? What's your contingency's contingency? What's your contingency's contingency? Contingency. I'm barely getting those words out. Bear with me here. Run through every possible scenario you can. That way, no matter what happens, you can at least be slightly prepared for it. The goal of this is preparation. When you're so prepared that you don't have to worry about it, you can relax and just perform. In other words, when you practice, you're working. When you perform, you're simply being. Sum that whole point up, be as prepared as you possibly can be for what you want in any given situation that could occur. That could occur. Second key point, use the difficulty. Look for the positive in every situation you find yourself. So, make mistakes. As long as you learn from them, make new mistakes. Over time, the person with the most mistakes made is going to be the same person with the most lessons learned and the most life experience. This is a person who lived life to their fullest potential by doing everything they possibly could to learn and to grow. Second bullet, look for opportunity. Every negative has a positive. An ex a movie example that Kane gives is when he did Jaws the Revenge. The movie flopped critically and commercially, and he received a lot of heat for it because he was the biggest star in the movie. When a reporter said something to him about it, Kane's response was, the movie wasn't great, but the house that it paid for was. So, every negative has a positive. He saw doing Jaws of Revenge as a way to buy his mother a new house and a vacation for two weeks on the beach. Always look for the opportunity. Always look on the bright side of the situations you find yourself in. Take responsibility for them to make them good situations. Third final key point, don't look back, you'll trip over. In other words, stay in the present moment. Enjoy what you do. King credits London's 60s renaissance, which he was a part of, to all the kids who had to evacuate London during World War II. Those kids were the same kids who had to go out and play when the world was crumbling around them. But they were the same kids who went and played tag and hide and go seek. Imagine playing war. Imagine all the little childhood things that you did. Everyone does them. You don't choose your childhood. You just live it. So, they focus on what they could do, which was have fun. They had fun in the situation. They carried that on through the rest of their lives to enjoy what they did. They made a choice, a conscious decision to do what they enjoyed. Last bullet, yesterday is done. It's pretty simple. If you look back, you're just going to trip over. All you can do is focus on how to prepare for tomorrow and how to be the best you possibly can be today. I'm as good as I am, which is the best I could ever be. So, that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Go out, get the book, Blowing the Bloody Doors Off by Michael Caine. 
on Amazon or on Audible like I did. If you're interested in seeing the rest of my notes, they're going to be on the link below. That's all I've got. I'll see you guys next time.